What is up, YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not one of my subscribers already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up. Today, I got something super special for you guys. I'm gonna be comparing the old Sonos Play Bar. Play Bar was like one of our best sellers for years and years and years. Absolutely awesome sound bar uh, for just plug and play. It ties into the whole Sonos ecosystem, it's great. But then Sonos sent me the other day the Sonos Arc, which is a Dolby and Atmos enabled soundbar. And I'll have to say I'm pretty impressed. I'll go into some of my thoughts a little bit later. But if you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related for your home, make sure to give us a call and show your support. We do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. Really appreciate your support, guys. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, this is the Sonos Arc. You can see I got it wall mounted up here underneath the TV. This is the new Dolby Atmos enabled soundbar that they just came out with. They gave it to me prior to release to do some demos on. I made some videos showing you guys how to wall mount it, demos of it in a 5.1.2 uh, as well as a 5.1 and a just adding it in the arc with a sub, which I have back there at the back of the room. So make sure to check that video out. I'm gonna go ahead and get this play bar unboxed and thrown onto the Sonos network. This one's on a beta app, so I can get them both going at the same time. Just got the Sonos play bar unboxed and I just wanna go over what's included in it versus what is included in the box with the arc and then give you a quick visual overview of just the aesthetic differences. You can see that it's a much more square shape to the older model. This is the play bar. Still a sleek looking bar and this puppy sounded really good and still sounds good. Uh, it's just now we have the Dolby Atmos enabled version. You got an IR sensor right there, IR sensor right there. Everything is controlled or the audio is being output through the TV optical versus the new one, everything's ARC through HDMI, which makes controlling it with third party stuff a lot easier. Now, I did make an installation video of, I've made one of this, but I just made one the other day, which will be out soon. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button on how to mount the new Sonos Arc. Now, I think that one is so much easier to mount than this guy. These keyholes, I can't tell you how many times we struggled with getting this mounted in difficult custom installs with like hydraulic mounts over fireplaces and stuff like that where it was just a nightmare. <laughs> but uh, we got really good at, at doing that. And um, the new one, it has keyholes on the back, which just make installing it so much easier because you literally just zoop, zoop, screw it right into your bracket, you know, as a custom installation company. Originally, you know, we really have had to put these in some weird places. Now look at the new one. It's more cylinder shaped, a lot more modern looking. Like I was pointing out, you have um, more of a like touch screen, you can't really see it up here. I kind of have it blocked because, yeah, there you go. You got these little buttons that you kind of just touch versus the hard button press on the side of the other one. But you don't really use those anyways, it's all through the app. So that's the visual overview. Let's go ahead and get into performance. I'm gonna get this puppy hooked up. Oh, one thing I did wanna point out, the Arc, which I showed in the unboxing, does come with a HDMI to optical converter in case your TV's older and doesn't do Arc. So. No worries there. Just got it hooked up and you can see just aesthetically having them right next to each other, huge differences and the visual appearance. I wish it was a little bit brighter in here. I got the lights on full blast for you guys, but I had to work late tonight, helping you guys out with sales and consulting. Um, so doing the best I can here, but you can see it's actually longer as well as more cylinder shaped. I just can't wait to hear it. So 
I got the optical cable hooked up and the power. It's literally the same on both. You just have power and optical and power and HDMI. Simple. Like I said, guys, I have made some other uh, videos about this system, the ARC with the sub and surround speakers. So make sure to check that video out. But I wanted this to be a fair comparison. Um, so I'm removing the surrounds and I'm removing the sub so that it's just the arc and just the play bar going head to head right now. And I'm going to do some copyright free music so you guys can actually get a minute to listen to it. All right, you guys ready for this? We're going to start out with the play bar. This is the older model and I am going to be on the original Sonos app. Let's do it. play bar. So you can see it still fills the entire room and sounds really good. Obviously you guys know I'm going to recommend a sub for some lower frequency bass and then the surrounds to really get it popping if you're going to be watching movies. But I mean, the way that they have these bars set up with the speakers firing in every direction, they perform really well, but that's beside the point. Let's shoot the arc out now. Let's go. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the audio. Switch over to my beta app and crank the arc. <laughs> Okay, so the reason I was holding the camera like way up here is because I'm hoping that you guys can actually hear the height. And I was shocked, especially when hooking it up in a room like this with vaulted ceilings, that you even sitting here on the couch, whenever I was watching a Dolby and Atmos enabled movie, I could hear the height. I mean, not as well as if I had in ceiling speakers, but this isn't a home theater, so <laughs> it's not on the same playing field. This gives you that height and you just can't get that out of the play bar. So I think like the clarity is the same on both. Like I'm, I feel like it's coming through crystal clear on both, but the height speakers definitely fill the room a lot more. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put on some dialogue like the news or something so that we can actually compare the dialogue side by side. Okay, I just threw on Comedy Central, The Office and 
we'll uh, listen to Michael Scott with our dialogue. I'm on the beta app right now. This is the Sonos Arc. Hello, what about the birthday boy? Haven't had a hug all day. <laughs> no one cares about your birthday. Kevin's waiting to hear if he has skin cancer. Great. Wow. That's good timing. That's... Okay, let's go over to the Sonos play bar. Terrible news for both of us. We should probably head back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I dare you to make an announcement. You dare me? How old are you? Just quit selling. Hello, this is your father. Come set the table for dinner. <laughs> Such a dork. It might be me, but I feel like the arc is actually a little bit cleaner in the high frequency. I'm going to bounce back and forth a couple times. All right, we're on the play bar. Is there any way you can get on your fiance's plan? I have plans. This is it's terrible. There you are. Good news. Did some research. It turns out that 98%. Okay. And let's do the arc. Brain cancer. And it shouldn't stop us from having fun. You know what they say the best medicine is? Well, the doctor said a combination of interferon and decarbazine. And laughter. Also. I don't really think people are able to laugh at me. Why are you here? I didn't even invite you to my birthday party. Okay, arc off, play bar on. Well, you know what, since Toby doesn't speak for everybody and I am your boss, I think you should just go home, take the rest of the afternoon off. Take a sick day. If I go home now, I'll just drive myself crazy. Well, you're pretty much driving everybody else here crazy. Okay, so a little unclear as to if I'm having a little difference in the dialogue because of the positioning of the speaker. I could definitely be playing into it or could actually, the arc could be performing better. I would expect that out of a newer speaker. But regardless, the arc with the Dolby Atmos height effects, adding that extra dimension above your head definitely is worth it. And then one thing that I hadn't touched on yet in this video is voice control. And it works really, really well. I tested it out in another video. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. You gotta subscribe to the channel, guys. I got tons of these videos trying to help you guys out and make a educating buying decision. You know, it's really tough. There's just so many options out there. I'm just doing my best to help out. So I think for the price difference, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer. All right, guys, well, that concludes my shootout of the brand new Sonos Arc next to the old Sonos Play Bar. Both great units, but without a doubt, this new Sonos Arc is built to perform. They put the money, the engineering into it, and it shows. I mean, the height effects are there, and it's notable, which I was a little unsure as to if it was gonna be that big of a difference, but especially after putting it up next to the old Sonos Play Bar, it's apparent. That feature alone is worth the money. But then you got the voice control that's built in there too, which you couldn't even get with the Play Bar, which was one of the main reasons I would throw like a Sonos One in a customer's kitchen prior so that they could get the voice control, tie it together in the group, and then have voice control for the system, but still get the performance of the Play Bar. Well, now you have it in the heart of your system the voice control built in, which is becoming just more and more popular. I hope that this helped you guys make a buying decision. If you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up. I got tons of home theater videos trying to help you guys out. And if you would like to purchase, make sure to give me a call, show your support. We do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. Can't do it without you guys. Really appreciate it. Till next time, this is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. Oh,